can happen, I think, in the heart. And uh, that desperation of, of loss and miscommunication and sometimes emotional abuse. So it's, it's hard to say. Um, he certainly is a very strange man. <laughs> and, and you're judging, when you, t when you talk about the man, you're talking about Klaus. Klaus. And uh, I assume you're talking about things you know of him from yeah, the press. Yeah, there's, there's tons of strange things one hears about him. Yeah. Like what? Like his mother died, and for four days uh, he didn't report the death and had the body in the apartment with him. Yeah. Things like that. That's in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Has it, is there a role that you haven't played that you'd like to play? Because you've been everywhere. Um, that's hard to say, because I never really know from one project to the next what, what I'll do, what I'll be doing. I just yeah. wait for something that I really can respond very personally to. I have no idea what I'll do next. You always seem, uh, your dad is a doctor. Yeah. And you always seem to find a project where it requires you going to your dad <laughs> and getting some kind of advice. I think in Fatal Attraction, you wanted to know how you should lay under the water and what would yeah. be realistic in coming up and everything? Exactly, yeah. How you would die. Uh, in Hamlet, it was great. We did a lot of poison research um, because yeah. I died by poison. And um, Dad was a great help. He, he faxed me in England all these potential poisons and how you would die. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I picked strychnine. I thought that was very dramatic. And so basically, I am doing a strychnine death, which you have terrible... Con, um, muscle contractions and, and this, well, I didn't do that because it would have been too funny, but you have the <laughs> rhesus sardonicus that you, that terrible grimace. And um, you die by asphyxiation because all your muscles um, seize up and you suffocate. So that's why we had that strange, you know, makeup with the blue lips. You're actually dying of no air. Yeah. I wanted it to be very ugly death and not pretty, and not kind of just, you know, <laughs> I want to make sure, because I'm not sure where I am on time, I want to make sure that we plug, I think it's called Sarah Plain and Tall. Right, yes. Tell me a little bit about that and uh, when it's on. Uh, Sarah Plain and Tall is something I did for Hallmark Hall of Fame with Christopher Walken, based on a wonderful, wonderful book of the same title. It will be February 3rd on, on CBS. Mm -hmm. And um, it's about a, a prairie, it's about a mail-order bride, a woman who goes from Maine to Kansas to this very strange and haunted widower and she tries to make a difference in their lives and uh, it's uh i was very lucky to get chris walken to do it with me he's absolutely fantastic in it and uh it's a it's a kind of film that the whole family can watch and uh hopefully feel good about themselves at the end yeah oh uh, penny marshall was here recently she's directing uh, or she directed de niro and robin in awakening which is uh you've seen it yeah Good performances. Yes. Um, in, in researching your background, I found an article that you did in a magazine called Fame. And you talked about your grandmother having what seemed to be a similar condition, a sleeping sickness. Yes, yes. And you talked about it. And this was long before the movie could have been in production or anything. Now, is it the same thing? It's not the same thing, um, but it actually, there was an epidemic of sleeping sickness in New York in the 20s, mm -hmm. and my grandmother got it, and um, it, uh, it's a terrible, it, I think it, it, it never, it leaves you permanently uh, affected by it and slows you down a bit, mm -hmm. um, it's encephalitis, and I think the kind of um, thing that happens in awakening is something much, much more severe yeah. I'm, not, I'm not sure but she was she she had it and where actually she would fall asleep any mm -hmm. she was very slow very deliberate in all her movements from the time that I knew her uh, narcolepsy is uh, an, another kind of thing similar where you, you can fall asleep anywhere I guess, yeah. Yeah. so I guess there are many different kinds we'll have to call your dad after this show <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry I think I know all that I thought about seeing this this old, old family movie with my grandmother when she was very, very young. She was doing the Carlson on snowshoes. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And it was just, it was so touching because she, she, I'd always been told what a magnificent, magical woman she was. And all I knew from her was this very a woman who had just every movement was very deliberate. And all of a sudden I saw this wonderful creature dance, dancing on snowshoes. And it was my grandmother. And that wasn't the grandmother you knew? No. 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 One more quick question, and you got to find me time for this. I want to know, who are the fingernails? When I was in uh, high school, I was uh, a member of a, of a girl group that we put together called the Fingernails. There were five of us. We were the group with polish. And, uh, <laughs> and we would do uh, assemblies for the school. We would do um, skits and we would do songs uh, based on kind of uh, pop tunes of the day and change the words and you know, do comedy stuff. And we were the Fingernails. You sing? Yeah. Yeah, this was uh, Rosemary Hall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like we did the, the uh, to the we did a, a version of uh, Splish Black. I was taking my bath, but it was the story of the fall of House of Atreus. You know, where Clytemnestra was killed. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you keep in touch with any of the girls in the fingernails? I do actually. Yes. Because yeah. I know those are the those are the best years of one's life. Yeah, we got away with murder. We, we would go to these boys' schools, and, and each of us would kind of check out a guy that was, we thought was a real ass, you know, and, uh, <laughs> and we'd do a takeoff of them before our, our we'd always uh, perform before the, the dances that you, had to, you were subjected to, and they never knew that we were basically really making fun of them. Yeah. But, uh, it was fun. The fingernails. Maybe we can have a reunion and round them up and uh, <laughs> bring them here next time you're here. I really thank you for coming back, and good luck with, uh, not yet. <laughs> um, good luck with uh, future projects, and, and these two are wonderful. Thank you so much. Hang in there, Glenn. Thank you. Glenn Close. <laughs>